Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see from my title, is the stuff which YouTube made me buy it. Actually, it's I thought it would be much more stuff to talk about, but it's actually not that bad. But let's start it again, start it right now, because otherwise this video will be longer than I would love to. Uh, I don't know actually where to start. I think so. The one of the most popular thing which actually YouTube made me specially buy it. It was RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm actually very happy with that one because my under eyes are very dry and they are very picky. So this one doesn't dry my eye the under eyes, and absolutely is amazing. I can only use actually under my eyes and to set my concealer on my eyes as in my eye base. But unfortunately, I can't use it for a T-zone, but anyway, I love it and I'm happy that Kitely Lines introduced me to this one. Okay, so if we are talking about powders, the next one, another the most popular, I think so, powder is the Laura Mercier a Translucent Setting Powder. It smells, my T-zone is very oily, so I need something which keep my T-zone matte, and this is the one. This is absolutely amazing, as I'm saying in every single video. But this literally keep my um, tees on the mat and I absolutely love this one. It's my favorite and it's my ride or die and I'm worried because I will be finishing this very soon and I will have to repurchase that but I definitely will going to buy again. Okay, the next one. I have quite a few stuff here. Okay, we are talking about complexion. So let's talk about Morph uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I saw so many YouTubers using this one and I was thinking like, oh my god, this looks absolutely amazing. Of course, amazing. <laughs> I need to change the word. So I was thinking like, yeah, I need to finally get it. And when I was in Poland months ago, I finally get this one and I'm absolutely happy. And unfortunately, it's not perfectly for my skin. As I said, my T-zone is very oily, but like when I'm mixing with my L'Oreal Infallible, it's doing a job. I thought I can't go out for a party, but during the day it's not too bad. And I love how it looks like on the camera when I'm doing my makeup videos or anything like that. So I absolutely happy with that purchase, and I use it actually quite a lot. You can't see it now because I shake it, but I think so. I'm in the middle of the bottle already, which it's very surprising. Okay, I think so I can take, take, talk about Infallible, which introduced to me uh, Des Desi Perkins and Luster Lux. They were using this one, they were happy with this, and I think so is when uh, I love Sarai. She used this as well on my one of my courses, yeah, and she said it's amazing and everything, but unfortunately it's not that amazing for me. I like it, but it's not my favorite as I prefer my Revlon Color Stay, which keeps me all day matte, and this one keeps my teeth on matte not 100% because after a while I'm shiny and makes my cheeks so dry. When I was using this for a few days in a row, my cheeks were here like, like you can see the net skin like peeling off and I was feeling very uncomfortable when I was smiling. So unfortunately I have to mix with any different, um, with other foundations like my Revlon Color Stay. I don't have any problems with my Makeup Forever. It looks, it's working perfectly. Okay, let's move on. And I have one brush. And this is Sigma E40, which I'm not, not using very often as it's not as my favorite as I thought it will be. Every single YouTuber I think so is used this, using this brush as a blending brush to into crease or blending everything out. I like this brush. But it's not my favorite. If that will, will get broke or something will happen to this brush, I'm not going to repurchase, repurchase this. But I like it. It's not my favorite. I prefer my Morphe M441, which I'm using right now constantly, or my Zoeva 228, which and they are very similar shape. And for me, they are much better than this one. Okay, so I have two highlighters, which actually you to make me buy it. It's one, it's the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop with collaboration with Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline is my makeup guru and I love her so much. She's she's absolutely everything to me. So this was her collaboration with Becca and I thought I don't need it. But when I say, seen all of the YouTubers using this, I was like, no, they actually convinced me to buy this one. I'm not regretting. It's one of my favorite and I absolutely love this one and highly recommend. 
the next one highlighter which um, YouTube made me buy and I think so then most of the people are going to say the same it's a Mary Luminizer by The Balm I think so it's one of the most popular and the oldie but the goodie um, highlighter it's like a champagne oh no champagne that was the other one but this one I think so most of you know this one already I've used it as well in my makeup tutorials you can't really see as always but it's not too pricey I would say and it's really doing a nice job and that is not um, shimmery or anything like that it's just giving you a really nice shine and it looks very natural of course if you will put too much you will be looking like, <laughs> like a blinding ball okay let's move on I do have my Ardency In that's the lip, uh, not lip pencil, eye pencil which and again Jacqueline Hill recommends that on her YouTube channel but she recommended in color black but when I was in states I was in every single Sephora I couldn't get this one I couldn't get this even online because it was constantly sold out so I was thinking like yeah I will go for brown because I also like to use brown so I get this one and um, I it used to be my favorite until I get Zoeva into my hands but I still like this I like this color and I think so that's my second or third one so yeah I'm going to repurchase even though it's not my best favorite and I'm not using it that often as I'm using my other one but I definitely going to repurchase this as it's very nice <laughs> okay the next one <laughs> I'm going to repeat myself maybe I will finish with her um, Naked Skin uh, Concealer the Weightless uh, complete, complete Cover Color um, Concealer as well, Jaclyn Hill, thank you so much it's absolutely bomb <laughs> it's not amazing, I mean, it's amazing of course I'm using it every single time but now I recently noticed that actually I got a too light color it's too light for me I need to get another one that's I think so my second bottle as well that's fair neutral I think so I will need light neutral because I'm right now I have to mix with other concealers which they are a bit darker because I notice actually my skin is not as dark as I thought I think so as well because I'm using some self toners and I'm putting a bit darker foundation because I'm doing loads of dramatic looks so it's better when my skin is a bit darker so yeah but um it's one of my the, be the best one I'm using as well Catrice I'm using makeup uh, no makeup forever no uh, collection lasting perfection but it's drying off my skin too much the Catrice doesn't match my skin at all so this one hands down I wanted to try the makeup forever co full cover but I don't really have that much dark circles or anything wrong with my skin so I don't really need that high cover Thank you Jacqueline again and there will be some more products from Jacqueline I'm really sorry but as you can see she's my makeup guru and yeah okay so the next one is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara of course every single youtuber is using this mascara saying how amazing is that mascara they love it so much etc 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 so I said like I need this mascara in my life and I'm not regretting it's nice I really love it sometimes I'm using my mascara uh, from L'Oreal I think so the L'Oreal is still my ride or die mascara but I really like this one this is just really nice mascara and I think so you should try it I'm not regretting and I think so if I will finish this one I'm going to repurchase again the next one I think so it's again so hot on YouTube and I thought I don't need it in my life but every time I was watching the makeup first, I was like, I need to get it. But it's quite pricey comparing to my other one, which I have, which is kind of similar. I'm talking about Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, Eyeliner. No eyeliner. Yes, actually eyeliner. Glitter eyeliner and Midnight Cowboy. This color, when I swatched at Sephora, I was like, I'm sold. I'm absolutely sold out. It's mine. I need to take it home with me. So seeing all the YouTubers using this, I was always dying. I was like, oh my god, I need to have this mount. But then I was thinking like, well, you don't need it. I was trying to convince myself I don't need. And the day has come that I went to Sephora, I swatched this one and I was like, it's mine. It's my baby. I need to, I'm waiting for my stuff from those of colors. I'm going to make a makeup tutorial using this one for all my eye. I already planned everything. But yeah, staying with eyes, 
And the other palette, it wasn't only Jacqueline Hill, it was as well many MUA and all of other YouTubers. Recom recommend the palette from Morphe, which is 350. I think so, the most popular from Morphe. The colors are very, very nice. They are as well pigmented and the work with them, it's so nice. But I have so many palettes and actually I'm not using this one much um, very often. I think so I should do some makeup tutorial with this one because it's it's so nice and I really like it and actually it looks like a warm, not winter, like an autumn. It's another definition of autumn for me. I really like this palette. Unfortunately, I'm not using it as often as I would love to as I'm not wearing as well makeup every single day to work because I won't be able to wake up at 3 in the morning to get ready to work as I'm starting at 6. So yeah, I love this palette. It's really nice and if you were fancy and but you are not sure, you should get this one. And staying with eyes again. It wasn't Jacqueline Hill this time. This one is Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. And I'm sorry for this packaging, but it's in um, House of Lashes Iconic. These two lashes, that was Desi Perkins, Luster Lux. I never worn this one yet, just because um, my eyes are too tiny and I need to think about the makeup which will suit this one. But I'm recently so busy and I don't really have time for even recording video editing and I would like to improve my skills and trying to edit with the new stuff, but it's just very tough recently. So yeah. Luster Lux, Desi Perkins. I love Iconics, I was wearing them so many times and I think so this one will need to go to the bin soon but I I thank god I have replacement for them already because I love them so much. So yeah, this one was, it's not my right eye type because they are very heavy and after a long day my eyes are feeling so tired of wearing them. This one I can't really say anything yet but yeah, I purchased them because of Luster Lux recommend them and she's wearing them constantly so I was thinking like okay if she's wearing them constantly they must be amazing maybe not for my own. okay now I have some lip products quite few lip products actually to talk about and I will start yeah I can share this actually now. this trio it's Ofra and this is with collaboration with many MUA and this is Hypno Charmed and Aris this free was in a collaboration with many MUA, as I said, I thought I don't need them. But of course, when I watch every single video from many MUA and I was seeing them, I was dying. And I seen then other YouTubers using these colors and I was thinking like, no, I need them in my life because they are looks amazing. <laughs> and they were just so nice and I never tried anything from Ofra. So I was thinking like, well, yeah, let's give them a shot. Why not try? So I purchased them, I'm happy with them. I'm using, I think so the most often I'm using Hypno. It's very nice, like a dark color. I haven't used it for a while, I need to use it again, I think so. I think so the last one I'm using Aris because I thought actually it will be um, more pink, but it's more peachy on my skin. It looks like more pink on the camera, but actually it's more peachy, which I am not that big fan of peachy colors. I prefer more pink undertones. But yeah, I'm mixing sometimes with a uh, Hypno and I'm making ombre lips and it looks very nice. Another one which um, especially was many MUA is Jouet Skinny Dip. The internet was living as well about Skinny Dip. Everyone was recommending Skinny Dip and Skinny Dip, Skinny Dip, Skinny Dip, Skinny Dip. I was thinking like, no, I don't need it in my life. But then I was thinking like, well, you need this. And you, you constantly have a fight, do you need it or not? But at the end, I actually purchased this, purchased this one. And I have to say, I have a huge crush on it. Especially with my next lip product. This too, as you've seen this in the last video, so you already know which, um, which uh, lip product next, is next one. But this lip topper is everything. I'm so glad that I'm watching YouTube. And I'm so glad that many MUA and Nikki tutorials introduced this one to me. Okay, then so the next one will be my Charlotte Tilbury, the one which is Kim uh, Kim, Del, uh, Kim KW. My beautiful, and this is the perfect nude color for me, Jacqueline Hill, and there was as well um, Nikki Tutorials. Both of them, they were using this one, they were recommending, and I was thinking like, I need to get this nude because I am a nude person, I love nudes, as you can see even now. 
So I purchased this one and I'm like, I have a crush with a skinny dip together, like mind your ride or die. And the last lip product and the nearly last product we should talk about is <laughs> Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Of course, thank you Jacqueline Hill to introduce me this one. I have this already on my lips right now. And this is one of my favorite, absolutely lip, lip gloss. I got this from France cause we didn't, I couldn't find this anywhere in uh, England. I couldn't find it anywhere in Poland. Now I know it's in Harrods in London, but well, I've got this from my, especially from France. Thank you Paulina for bringing me that and to bring so much shine in my life because this lip gloss, it's, oh, I need to find another word, amazing. It's just bomb. You have to have it. I know it's pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth the price. There is something random, not very cosmetics, but I thought as well I don't need them. I was convincing myself, no, 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 no. And then I was thinking like, okay, they are on ASOS, so it's time to buy them. So I'm talking about um, Key Australia Desi Perkins um, sunglasses. And those ones are high keys. High keys and... <laughs> I don't even have words. They are look fantastic. And I've got as well the low key one. No, on low, on the low. They called on the low. But they are not as my favorite and I didn't bought them because of YouTube, but when I saw makeup, not makeup, the blog from um vlog from Bora Bora, like all the YouTubers, they were all wearing those ones. And please say they are not fantastic, they are not fabulous and everything because yes they are. I know they are, I love them and I'm so glad that Desi Perkins create them and she introduced them for me, to me. So yeah, I think so that's it for now. Probably if I will find some other products I will do another video like a volume 2 or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'm very curious what is your stuff which youtube make you buy it so yeah leave me just comment down below what you think is the best from youtube or you what you want to buy you thinking to buy or anything like that yeah so give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye